Here we are again, folks. It's a Monday, it's the 14th of October, 2024. Every time I turn on YouTube now, there's a brand new video from Smash JT with yet another exclusive. I won't talk about what he's dropped last night because I've gone on various forums. If you don't, if you want to know what I'm talking about, it's Chris Kindred. Apparently, she's been fired from Sweet Baby Inc., which I think is only a good thing because we know that company already is a mafioso. They want to be mafiosos, right? They want to be good fellas, but they can't even match the quality of those Sicilianas. So I'm not going to talk about that. I just sort of mention it. Um, it's still being verified. Um, I looked on LinkedIn and Instagram, and apparently Chris Kindred still works for Sweet Baby Inc. But without further ado, folks, we need to talk about the Black Panther game, the Marvel game coming out sometime next year because it seems now that Kotaku and the senior writer for that game hate you folks. The people who are potential customers to buy this Black Panther game that also stars Captain America. But after I've read this article to you, you might want to change your mind. And yes, I like my new decorative window dressing right here. Isn't she a delight? My very own Hispanic Lara Croft. The same version we should have got with Netflix, but no, we've got the Abby Johnson version from The Last of Us instead. Oh, God almighty. Here we go, folks. Monday. Let's roll on with the opening credits. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Come again. Don't worry, baby, I'm coming. Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. On today's episode of Kung Fu Hot Dog. Okay, you can come. <laughs> Are you coming? Kind of busy right now. And I'm coming for it, Ken. I'm coming for the fucking money, you piece of shit. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling... <laughs> In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King with Kung Fu Hot Dog. This is the greatest show I've seen in my life. Duke Nukem writes this guy. Approved by 1970s Robert Redford. So courtesy of that part place, those wonderful people right over there, senior writer for the upcoming Marvel's Black Panther game wants a t-shirt that says, most gamers are bigots. Now that remark I'm gonna get to towards the end of this video because I got a few theories about what that's actually aimed at. So I don't know why they're showing Wakanda Forever and Female Black Pantheress. We don't care about that version. We don't care about that film franchise at all. So the person in um, concern is Alexa Ray Correa or Cornea. What's good, everybody? Andrea Renee here for this episode of the What's Good Games podcast, live from GDC 2024 with Alexa Ray Korea. Woo! Oh, Korea. So it's I was so correct. Good to see you, my friend. Because quite clearly, when you see the state of this woman, and in fact, if you want to know what she looks like, are, are you ready for this? You, you might want to brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, I'm going to get nightmares. I need to go back to the article right away. <laughs> so on October the 11th, Alyssa McCunty posted the following. I don't support all gamers. Most of you are bigots. Thanks to the ray of sunshine, Alyssa. Why don't you go out and... I don't know, breed some air, the polluted air in New York that you enjoy so much, which might have caused you the brain damage in the first place. As discovered by ex-user Moselam, Correa responded by writing, I need Alyssa's slogan on a t-shirt. This is the woman who is a senior writer for a video game you're supposed to get excited about. Now, I'm guessing from her siding with Alyssa that when this game for Black Panther comes out, do you think there might not be any hidden messages aimed at white people? Of course there will be. There has to be. So right now, folks, I would say to you, tread with cautious trepidation when this game unfolds. It's already been boycotted by 
Cabrutus Rambo. And I would suggest to you, while you shouldn't boycott this game, just tread very carefully. I know people like Luke Stevens and everybody else, the young gay, won't care about what I have to say or what opinions games journalisms have to say about this as well. Of course they won't. Why would they? So it's rather rich from her coming uh, from her point of view that she's siding with Alyssa Macante about this. Um, but of course, Korea or Korea is the latest red flag for the upcoming Marvel's Black Panther game. The game made headlines earlier this year when it was discovered that Cliffhanger Games hired a former Sweet Baby Inc. employee. I wonder why she's a former. That's rather interesting. Call Danny Lalonders. I featured her here on my channel. Rito Creed David. She's the MILF in training because I guess white women who already are MILFs and don't need training, Lalonders feels left out. She needs to get a piece of that action. And if you want to see the state of her, that's what she looks like right now. This is the woman who famously said, I've got a small team of diverse people working on a really shit video game called Validate, as opposed to Validate. And they're not white, because not that white people actually create unsafe workspaces, but I just wanted a diverse team that doesn't include white people. Uh, that makes no sense. I mean, when you make a statement like that in public, you're going to constantly trip over yourself and you can't get out of it. Here's a quick reminder, folks. For indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Stammer, stammer. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, uh, this woman is full of shit because if you create a air quote safe environment for people who are the same complexion as you it can still become very unsavory and very toxic that's why you mix with other people from other cultures because then you can see who you get on with or who you don't but this fake narrative coming from this fake person here with that incredibly ridiculous nose ring she's full of shit and just like jayanne lopez from black girl gamers is probably grifting for her next gig before she ends up on Skid Row. And I certainly hope she does. Look at this. <laughs> so on March the 7th, after she gets lambasted for her article, her video, Lalonda's reinforcing the black stereotype states, I just stopped talking y'all seriously when y'all start running around saying y'all white people can experience racism because I did not suffer through 2020 for y'all to act like you went on hashtag ally, hashtag BLM four years later. Is this woman barking up the wrong tree? I think the unequivocal answer is yes, sir, she is. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, one step for mankind, two steps backwards for black people who are still marginalized, according to Danny Lalonde's. But just going back to this remark quickly from Alyssa McCante, who seems to be the catalyst of everything terrible in gaming right now, when she says, I don't support all gamers, um, most of you are bigots. Now, when she says that, she means she's got friends like Jeff Grubb, Rebecca Valentine, Ethan Gatch, her soy boy cuck lover, because they're gamers who aren't bigots. So they're excluded off that list. I mean, I'm sure her and Jeff Grubb have more than just meets the eye friendships when it comes to their strange relationship of sorts. I mean, Jeff Grubb is a happily married man, but why would you allow a vampire like Alyssa Macante to enter your house? Maybe Jeff or Halloween, you might want to lay some garlic along the floor and get Melissa or Alyssa even to cast a reflection in your mirror and see if my theories come true that she is in fact a living, breathing vampire of the worst kind. So when she says that, she means she's excluding her friends off that list. But people like me, people like you, who have a valid opinion about a terrible video game, which she constantly sticks up for. Remember her walk-in last week with Thomas Marler from Moonwalk Studios? when uh, that woman called Q-Lag claimed she worked on the 
Ori and the Wisps games and Thomas Marley stepped in and said, uh, no, you don't. To which then Alyssa McCante, after calling him a dickhead on social media, also stated, well, Thomas Marler could have contact, he could have DM'd Q-Log in private to sort this all out. But why would Marler do that? Get it out in the public. It has to be there for people to know. He was being very transparent. And apparently he does have a bit of a history of being, I don't know, not very cordial in the world of gaming, but then who isn't? So why on earth would Melissa McCante try to come out with a hit piece? Like, like almost a gotcha and it's not a gotcha the only person who's looking like a fool at the moment is her because she's made an art form out of being an absolute buffoon a court jester in public and i absolutely love it and i hope one day people keep sticking up for kotaku again their ridiculous editor-in-chief austin x williams He's not doing anything about her, is he? She constantly is allowed to go out there and make a, a mocking buffoonery of not just Kotaku, but of herself. Her reputation is bringing them down. But what does he do? He sits in the corner and probably plays with himself and, and, and he's kind of fake and ignorant. Oh, it'll all go away. It'll all dissipate in time. No, it won't, Austin Williams. Do your job, sir, and fire her, because if you don't want to get rid of her, maybe get rid of her and Carolyn Petit, her best friend in Cahoots. But on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this story today regarding the Black Panther video game, which could have every potential to be very good, but now it's been blighted by opinions by Alexa Ray Correa, who says, yes, if you don't enjoy this game, then you are a bigot, which only spells trouble ahead. That, what, the, the, the Black Panther's, he's a little bit of an older gentleman. He's not like a young, hot, like 20 year old Black Panther. I am all about the like older dude protagonists in games. That suit looks great on him. Like, oh yeah. Like, I, and I love, and this is such a, again, a dev thing to say, but I love UE5. I love working in. So why couldn't she just talk about the game like that? Publicize it. Give us hope that it's going to be a very good game. I still got my doubts, by the way. Instead of going online, siding with a journalist in air quotes, using that phrase again, and inciting the wrath of gamers, putting them off because already Miss Korea is actually on the side of journalism and not for the gamers who might be curious to try out her brand new Black Panther game. Ah, oh, women, chicks will never learn, will they? He's a shill for me, did you know that? He simps for me, he simps for me. He's simping for me. Personified in this case, by an audible rat. Tune in next time, space freaks, and hear your doobry go ping in the next gripping installment of Kung Fu Hot Dog.